you're here, God. And we will be careful to give you all the praise. No man, no flesh can glory in your presence.
all develop a Lucifer spirit. Come on, open your mouth and give God praise at the hands. Somebody still need to worship. Come on. Somebody still need to worship here. Oh. I didn't say worship, Pastor Bishop. I said worship. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. We'll be careful to give you all the praise. It belongs to you and you alone. Omniscient one, omnipresent one. The immutable one. Outer court. You want to get behind the veil? Some people are still in the outer court. Come on. sit with a praise in your mouth and exalt Jesus. Sit with a praise in your mouth and exalt Jesus. Hallelujah. Today we have among us the Honorable Shawdy that's right pronunciation. Shadea L. Simpson. Judge of the civil court. And she's here to address us briefly. And I'm not too knowledgeable of the subject she, that she will be addressing us on, but she will be addressing us briefly just now. So put your hands together. So I want you to 19, please, all right? Verse 105. Read from verse 103 to 105. Psalms 119, from 103 to 105. How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And Lord, I thank you for your word today. Speak to our hearts, O God. Lord, kill flesh in every shape, in every form. These are your people that you love. Lord, give them the right meal for the hour today. Lord, let nothing come that will destroy anyone, O oh God. I pray that there shall be clarity in the name of the Lord God. Bless your people. Clear the atmosphere, God. 
Let the anointing flow in this house today. We thank you in Jesus' name. Now before you take your seat, I want you to look at the closest person that says, Hello neighbor, Hello, neighbor. Stay, in stay in the word and you will live. Come on, tell somebody, say, hello neighbor. hello neighbor. Stay in the word and you will live. Now clap those hands and give God praise everybody. Amen. Stay in the Stay in the word. Can somebody say amen? amen? How many love God's word? You really love God's word. You love the word of God. Some of you love the word of God. I love his word. And because I love his word, I want to stay in the word. Otherwise, live what the word said. Can somebody praise God? David was a man of God. The Bible said he was a man of God after God's own heart. David, I believe, loved God with all of his heart. And if you believe that, say hallelujah. hallelujah. And the Lord will have me to share on this topic today. And I was a bit struggling. Because I just want the real stuff. Can somebody say amen? Because you know, flesh has a way to come in at time. How many of us know that? Flesh and the spirit move very close. Amen. And if you sometimes go by what you see or by what you hear, flesh can lead you to the things to gratify him. Come on, somebody. But I want God to give me a word that will edify and bless his people. Because you belong to God. Can you say amen, somebody? You belong to God. Touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you belong to God. And because you belong to God, you have to get what God has to give to you. Amen. Outside of that, you will not survive. You see, when I come to church, I want to hear God. I don't want to hear flesh. I don't want to hear what man has to say. I want to hear what thus said God. And so I believe that the Lord will spread a table before us today. And all we have to do, church, is to sit down, cut our tents, get out our knife and fork, and eat what is prepared for us today. Because I believe, based on the scripture that was read, Jeremiah 29, verse 11, the thoughts I have towards you are thoughts of peace, thought to do good to you, and not even set the Lord. How many believe that today? I, I preach on this topic as a convention Wednesday night gone. And you see, we need to know that God has good thoughts towards us. God has no bad thoughts towards his people that love him. Thoughts to bless and to do good. Even while others are thinking other things about you, God is not doing that. Can you say amen somebody? That's why I love God so much. He's not like man. Man would mock off some of us. Man would write off some of us. Even when we fail, some people would forget us. But the loving hand of God is still reaching out and say, get up. You can make it. You can go on another mile. Give God praise somebody. So the psalmist addresses us today. And it says in verse 103, How sweet are thy words unto my taste. How many know we can taste the word of God? Because when we get in this Bible and begin to read God's word and really want to live what the word of God says, to us it is sweet. The only people or persons that will not enjoy the word of God are those that refuse to walk right. But when we love God's word, we want to get into this word of God. Somebody give God praise. Amen. The psalmist said, how sweet are thy words unto my taste. When we get in this word and it begins to affect our lives, it will bring change 
in our lives and when it brings change others will know that the word of God is alive in such an individual you see we can talk as much as we want to talk but people know when the word of God is alive in us because if the word is alive in us we will walk the word we'll talk the word we will not go by what other people think we want to go by what thus said the Lord God Almighty can somebody help me and give God a praise so the psalmist says how sweet are thy words unto my taste and yes sweeter than honey to my mouth so what the psalmist was saying I know honey sweet but the word of God is sweeter than honey oh glory to God go with me to Psalms 19 somebody Psalms chapter 19 hear what the word of God says he said the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament show it it's handiworks come on somebody day unto day utter it speech and night unto night show it knowledge there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard their line is gone out throughout all the earth and their words to the end of the world God's word can reach from one corner to the other corner hallelujah it doesn't matter where you are God even so equipped the church that we can stay right here in New York City and speak a word to a condition in Japan and it take effects come on your church of God because the word of God is quick is powerful is sharper than any two edged sword can you clap your hand and give God a praise here it says which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race his going forth is from the end of the heaven and, to the, and his circuit unto the ends of it and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof watch the church of God the law of the Lord is perfect the psalmist is saying the law here really means the word of God the word of the Lord is perfect God's word is clean when God send you a word and you know it's God you can put your pot on the fire come on somebody the law of the Lord is perfect it doesn't matter who God will not compromise his word to suit nobody. It doesn't matter what credential you have. It doesn't matter if you're prime minister or president. God's word stands sure. The Bible says forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. I heard the Bible says heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away his word is sure give him praise your church of god the law of the lord is perfect converting the soul when this word get in us any at all and take effects it must bring conversion it's only god's word can bring conversion it doesn't matter where they put man in prison it does rehabil rehabilitate them. But get that word of God inside them. And the man who was a gunman and a murderer become a sanctified man. Because the word of God brings conversion. Say neighbor, the word brings conversion. And you who are saved can testify to the fact that it was because you applied to the word of God why you are changed today. Some of us were top class criminal we were wicked set of people but as the bible says the entrance of thy word give it light we accept the word and god's word turn us around and those we couldn't love we can love them now because the word bring conversion give god a praise here church of god mm. the love of the lord is perfect converting 
the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure making wise the simple. Some of us, uh, we were so simple and people didn't see us. Uh, they see us as nothing. But when the word comes in and we begin to live the word, that's so weird. How come she's so different? How come him so different? Him walk different? We know he's not educated like the fishermen. The, the people that came against them said so we know that these are unlearned and ignorant men but we can't deny they had been with jesus come on somebody once you associate yourself with the word it will cause others to say something because the word must bring change in you it doesn't matter if you never go to a high school it doesn't matter if you have no group degree or what the word of god will make a difference in your life all we need church is to get the word of god in our system that's what the church need it's not a good education it's not how to sing good it's not a good car we need the word of god that's why the psalmist says thy word have i hid in my heart that i might not sin against thee tell somebody say neighbor we need the word say neighbor we need the word let's get back to the word because the bible said in john chapter one in the beginning come on was the word and the word was with god and the word became flesh and dwell among men what we need church is the word tell somebody you need the word you need the word come on somebody when you meet a friend and they claim they love God they must give you a word from God can somebody help me and give him a praise hear me church if the word came from the beginning and the word is effective today we all need the word come on tell somebody say you need the word why no this is not a trump up message you need the word of God Come on here, church of God. Because so much time we jump and don't get no word. Can you hear it? Say amen, somebody. Sometimes we shout. We say amen sometime. And don't even hear what the preacher says. We need a word to the church of God. If we were getting the word. I know we would getting the word. If we have been applying the word to our lives. We will be better people today. But God is about to get them on the inside of somebody. Who want to change on the inside he's about to cut out something and drop his word in it because he know your heart he know your desire can you say amen so they said the testimony of the lord is sure making wise the simple come on church of god people used to take some of us for fool before but now we get in the word and god start to change us and he give us discernment of spirit and when the devil think you're going that way the word lead you this way come on somebody when he set his trap that's how comes him know that it's not you know it is a word oh god can i talk to somebody it is a word that takes effect into a dunce man and ignorant man because the word jesus said in john 6 63 he says it is a spirit that quickness the flesh profited nothing he said the word oh help me holy ghost the word i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life so when that word get a hold of us it must bring life somebody say life Mm. tell somebody we need the word say about we need the word we need the right word the right word come on somebody many people are speaking words these days but not the right words that needs to repeat Holy Ghost many people are speaking words these days but not the right word. What the word? What, what does the word say? What does it mean of a word? A word meaningfully element of speech. Word is speech. It wants promise or assurance. Things said, a remark, conversation. I'm speaking 
right now words amen you're hearing words and if the preacher from the pulpit declare the wrong word it can affect the whole congregation one bad apple spoil a whole bunch and when you are in leadership position whether you be pastor group leader whatever the puppet you offer you got to be careful what you say as a leader can i talk to somebody because word that is spoken cannot be reversed words that is uttered cannot be taken back even if you apologize it cannot be taken back because sometimes the damage is done already but if we can get in this word church of God and have a good relationship with God it doesn't matter how anybody cuts you